we believe that um, justice will prevail in the end. So that's all that's happened today in court. Yeah, the fact that uh, Namde Kano, the leader of the indigenous people of uh, Biafra and the leader of the secessionist group, identified as the indigenous people of Biafra, appeared in court uh, to face trial and is no longer news. Yes, Namde Kano, the leader of the uh, so-called outlawed group, you know, prescribed by the Nigerian government, has been detained and uh, also by the Department of State Services, the uh, DSS. He appeared in court uh, October 21st uh, to face charges leveled uh, against him by the government of Nigeria. However, Namdekano is charged with uh, terrorism and treasonable felony that may land him in any uh, of the penalties. Uh, number one, uh, says uh, he was you know, charged of terrorism. Namdekano is facing criminal uh, charges for directing an outlaw organization, which is according to the federal government of Nigeria. They said it's illegally possessing firearms. And jeopardizing Nigeria's peace. Okay, Namkano is facing charges of terrorism, unlawful society, uh, society management, illegal weapon possession, and a reasonable uh, or uh, ter uh, reasonable crime or reasonable crime. Well, uh, de my, depending on how uh, you understand it. Mm, but I would say one thing: if you have co uh, prescribed, uh, Namkano has been uh the leader of the unlawful group uh, what is boko haram what is uh, fulani etsman uh, what uh, is uh, the so-called uh, bandits what do they do uh, what uh, are their mission uh, they're working for the government you know carrying arms here and there and they will still stand and you know claim responsibility of so many attacks uh, telling us that Nigeria belongs to them or what have you. And in other words, let's even, you know, forget what the Boko Haram have been doing because they have refused to proscribe them. Uh, the terrorists uh, disturbing the peace of the country, but they are trying to change the narrative towards uh, Namdekan and Sonigo. And those ones are not the problem of Nigeria, I believe. Uh, you, be, you two also believe that they are not the problem of Nigeria. Okay? Okay, uh, the second one says a uh, treasonable felony. Uh, it's an offense under English law uh, partaking of the nature of treason uh, as devised by the Overt Act to depose a levy war against the sovereign uh, to compel changes of policy or to intimidate or overrule parliament and uh, usually involving life imprisonment rather than uh, the death penalty. Mm, this simply means an act of attempting to overthrow the current uh, government or attacking the state through war. <laughs> okay, uh, in all this, uh, what, what are the colleries? Um, I try to you know figure out what are the correlation you know between you know all these allegations uh, trying to uh, overthrow a government. How how do they overthrow government when they have not even invaded anywhere close to uh, the uh, capital territory Abuja? They are just you know in their confined zone. I would say they are just uh, in east. You know trying to make their voice known that if the, uh, in the absence of a uh, good governance, you know. Uh, if in the absence of equity, if there is absence of uh, federalism or true federalism, yes, let everybody go their separate uh, ways. And that is why I really, really uh, uh, blame Buhari for, you know, uh, appointing so many uh, unreasonable people into sensitive uh, positions. People that do not merit uh, such position. That's why Nigeria is jeopardizing. You talk about economy, you talk about uh, infrastructure, you talk about security, you talk about so many things that we are, you know, far, far behind. And you're telling me Nigeria is working. Uh, uh, now, uh, to crown it all, you know, apart from being, uh, 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 apart from there's uh, being a lopsidedness in appointment, Nigeria is not where it's supposed to be as at today. We believe that um, justice will prevail in the end. So that's all that's happened today in court, and he has gone. So uh, we're coming back on 10th of uh, November to hear this application because we insist that that application will be in line with the procedural law, that that application will be first hard and disposed of, an application challenging the competence of the child. And when considering the affirmative, that is the end of the case. Uh, so, because we are challenging the seven count amended charge. So, once the court hear it and, and uh, rule in our favor, that's the end of the case, and they walk out the court from court a free person. I want to plead with the authorities, please. Uh, this shouldn't happen again. Um, uh, we, should, we, li we live in a democratic um, uh, entity called Nigeria. We are not in a war talk country. And um, everybody that is being accused is, is, to, is innocent until proven uh, guilty. 
So I, I'm pleading that people should be allowed, or there should be sanity in the way and the manner um, security agencies block the entire access to them. Outside the premises, his supporters chant solidarity songs. Andy Kanu was re-arrested in June in Kenya and extradited to the country to face his trial. He is facing a seven-count amended charge of treasonable felony and acts of terrorism. Outside the premises, his supporters chant solidarity songs. Andy Kanu was re-arrested in June in Kenya and extradited to the country to face his trial. He is facing a seven-count amended charge of treasonable felony and acts of terrorism. Outside the premises, his supporters chant solidarity songs. Andy Kanu was re-arrested in June in Kenya and extradited to the country to face his trial. He is facing a seven-count amended charge of treasonable felony and acts of terrorism. Outside the premises, his supporters chant solidarity songs. Andy Kanu was re-arrested in June in Kenya and extradited to the country to face his trial. He is facing a seven-count amended charge of treasonable felony and acts of terrorism. Outside the premises, his supporters chant solidarity songs. Andy Kanu was re-arrested in June in Kenya and extradited to the country to face his trial. He is facing a seven-count amended charge of treasonable felony and acts of terrorism. Outside the premises, his supporters chant solidarity songs. Andy Kanu was re-arrested in June in Kenya and extradited to the country to face his trial. He is facing a seven-count amended charge of treasonable felony and acts of terrorism.